Hello everybody. I'm in the space capsule again. Um, I'm parked right outside my driveway. The power is coming through my core to the house. Um, like I say, everything can be powered through my generator if I need be. But um, or at a campsite, I can do it through the campsite power. But since I'm sitting in the driveway, might as well use the house power. Uh, so anyway. Um, I want to thank my new subscribers. I got almost 200 subscribers or whatever. It took me like, I think eight months to get like a hundred subscribers. And in the last three months, I got almost another hundred, you know, so by the end of this month, well, tomorrow is April the 1st. So by, I'm thinking by next month, I'll have two, 200 subscribers, which is really good. I never thought I'd get that many people interested in you know my truck camping situation especially seeing as how i've been doing very little camping and mostly uh upgrading and doing stuff to the truck and um i haven't been able to go to florida and uh take you guys on a trip but um now that the weather will be breaking soon i'll be able to go to uh, these parks around here there's a lot of parks here in michigan really nice parks to go and uh do camping and all kinds of stuff or whatever. So uh, Cole and I will be going on adventures and doing stuff at these different parks. And um, since I quit my job a few days ago, I've had a little time on my hands, you know, so I put together a video um, for you guys to watch. It's pretty long, you know, so um, what it is is a compilation of my whole journey from last year which is when I went down to Florida in my car uh, I used to I camped in my my Cadillac I had a Cadillac CTS drove that down there with a tent and um, camped out down there and I stayed down there for about a month but then uh, somebody rear-ended my car paid for a car ran perfectly well I just had brand new tires put on it whatever I went down there in the middle of that ice storm we had last year and um, made it down there safe and sound, not a scratch on the car or whatever. And um, on a dry pavement night, some idiot rear-ended me and ran a guy on the motorcycle off the road, you know. And um, anyway, uh, he towed my car. So, and I had my bike on the back, on the bike rack. So he towed my bike too. I wasn't able to get that fixed. So uh, anyway, I ended up having to get a, moving truck because uh, by the time it was time for me to come back it was uh, close to spring break so I couldn't get a rental car nowhere because the rental cars were all booked up you know because of spring break rush and whatever so all I was able to get was a um, a, um, a, a rider um, rental truck you know 20 foot truck <laughs> for moving you know um, a moving truck or whatever so it worked out good because I had plenty of room in there to to move around and to camp in where I was able to put my cot in there and stretch everything out really good and whatever. And um, after I had that big stroke of bad luck, getting rear-ended in the back of you know, in my car and totally in my car and whatever, and then I rented the, um, the moving truck and whatever. I'm like, well, I got plenty of room in here. I might as well go and get Cole or whatever. Cole is the dog I met at the, the uh, animal shelter. Uh, while I was uh, working, it just so happened the place where I was working at, we parked our cars in the um, in the police parking lot, and the police parking lot was just adjacent to a humane society or, or animal shelter where they keep um, um, unwanted dogs and cats and whatever, and they keep uh, you know they they the place where there are police the police training um, for um, canine dogs or whatever you know so um, anyway. Um, just what happened, I had a day off work, you know, so I went to, I went to go get, get the car and, and I was gonna just kill some time or whatever, you know, so I said, you know what, might as well take a trip to the animal shelter, just look at the animals and whatever. I had no intention of getting a dog or a cat or nothing else. I just wanted to just go and look. It was, it was like a trip to the zoo. You know, you go to the zoo, you don't expect to bring home a monkey or a tiger or something, you know, you just expect to go and look at the animals and whatever and be like, wow, okay, that, that's how they live, you know, and then, maybe watch some feeding that you can catch it at feeding time 
you know, and watch the animals eat and whatever, and then go home, you know, empty handed. You don't have no intention of bringing nothing home with you. But I had no intention of bringing, you know, anything home with me and whatever the first time I went. So, well, I went twice. So the first time I went, I didn't have any intention of, you know, getting a dog, a cat, or nothing. But I, I met Cole, one of the um, workers there, you know, saw that I was looking at him or whatever, and, and you know, with interest and whatever, and she mistook. That the fact that I went, that she thought I wanted to adopt him. Well, I said, no, I don't want to adopt. I'm just looking or whatever, you know. Before I knew it, she took him out of the cage and brought him over, and they had a section where you can take him and play with him and, and interact with the animals before you adopt him, you know. So I went over there and, you know, I played with him for a little while. I'm like, you oh, know, whatever, I, I, I got the time. So anyway, I kind of liked him or whatever. We had kind of hit it off, but then I had to take him back or whatever because I wasn't there to get a dog, you know, whatever. So, anyway, this happened maybe a week, maybe a week and a half later, uh, the incident with my car getting tore up and whatever, you know, so I'm like, you know, I gotta salvage this somehow. The best thing I can do is go and get that dog I saw at the, the, um, the animal shelter or whatever, you know. I mean, it, was, it wasn't like a, a whimsical thing. I, I thought about him for, you know, for all them, that week and whatever, you know, beforehand, but I, you know, I was like, no, I can't do that, you know, but, when the opportunity came up like that, well, this is the way things happen, you know. Next thing I know, I went there. I, I had no expectations of him still being there. I just wanted to go and look, you know. But there he was, still there. And I'm like, how is he still here, you know? But he was still there. So I'm like, okay, let's do the paperwork. Let's get him. Well, I didn't know if they were going to let me take him. Seeing as I was from out of state, you know, I've been from Michigan, and that was in Florida. Uh, I didn't know how that was going to work out, whatever, and whatever. And they, they asked me questions like, you have a dog, a yard to keep your dog in? You have this, you have that, you have the other? Uh, a lot of those questions I couldn't answer, you know, uh, sufficiently and whatever. So I'm like, no, I don't have a big yard, but uh, you'll be well taken care of. You know, I, I can make things work. So, so far, so good I made things work, whatever. And uh, Cole seems happy, you know. So I got him, and we took the moving truck and we came on back home. <clears throat> Fortunately, halfway through coming back, I um, ran out of money because filling that there in truck up was expensive and whatever, you know. And um, just so happened my tax money came through at that right in the middle of the trip or whatever. So I'm like, oh, we can take our time now. So we took our time coming back. We had five days to um, take the truck back, you know. And, and there was a place here in Michigan right around the corner from where I live, uh, ironically, you know, that uh, I could return the truck to, you know, and I could walk home. It was so close to whatever, you know. I mean, it, it's unbelievable how that worked out. But um, yeah, me and Cole slept in that truck, you know, the back of the truck, wherever we slept together most of the time or whatever, you know. And um, so we, we came back, we stopped, you know, at camping spots along the way back during the night. And then during the day we rode down the you know, road coming home or wherever, we stopped every couple of hours or so to let him stretch his legs and run around a little bit. And um, I went on ahead and, you know, let him do his thing, you know, and then we got back on the road again and rode some more, and um, we made it back to Michigan. Uh, it took us about, I think it was like four days it took us to get back, you know, so we had an extra day with the truck, you know, before I had to take the truck back, but um, yeah, I, that, I, I made a video of all that, you know, all compiled together, you know, because I kept it on my phone or whatever, you know, so I'm, I, I just put all that together and made one big long video of the whole incident, the whole situation all the way through to this point now. And um, that's what I'm about to let you watch now. So you go ahead and watch that and enjoy that. And I'll come back and uh, talk to you at the end. <laughs> 